Welcome to Cocktails at Home, presented by Patron. I'm Naomi, and I'm joined by my really good friend, Jeremy. Naomi's good to see you. It's great to see you. Hello. So, I just feel like Patron is a perfect margarita tequila, and I like to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. So, I want to show you one of my favorite things to do, which is a strawberry margarita. That sounds you know, we've good. had these at restaurants, but I love to make it at home because it's just so easy. I'm going to start, like I said, Patron Silver. And for me, it's just all the citrus notes in this in this tequila just really pop when you pair it with something like strawberries. So I'm going to add, what do you think? An ounce and a half? An ounce and a half, yeah. An ounce and a half really is good, good. Yeah. I think that's a good base for any margarita or any cocktail that you're making. An ounce and a half is always gonna be great. How about some lime juice? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I love fresh lime juice. You know, I never buy the stuff that's, um, you know, in that plastic jar. I will always squeeze my limes fresh. And you can do this the morning of your, like your pool party or your barbecue. You can squeeze a lot of limes and just have lime juice at home so you can make these margaritas. Absolutely. So I used an ounce of lime juice. And then I want to sweeten this up a little bit. So I love to use agave nectar. You know, this is a 100% Blue Weber agave tequila, so it just makes sense to use an agave syrup. But... I like to mix it up a little bit and kind of cut it. Agave is so like viscous, almost like honey, but you really need to cut it to be able to use it in cocktails incorporated in things. Absolutely, because you know, agave nectar is so thick, like if you just put it in there, it's gonna kind of just stick to the shaker tip. Yeah, Do you mind having me that knife? I'm oh, gonna yeah, cut up some yeah, strawberries because sure. we are going to use fresh strawberries in this. Um, and you know, you can just throw these strawberries. I like to maybe, I don't know, quarter them. Yeah, I like to quarter a couple strawberries and just put it directly into the shaker tin. But if you are doing a, I don't know, like a barbecue or a party, if you're having a bunch of friends over, I will sometimes throw this in a blender, throw a bunch of strawberries in a blender and just have strawberry puree on hand. Yeah. And it works. Do you mind grabbing some ice cream? Yeah. It already smells so good. It does. Like, oh, the strawberries, that tequila, smells delicious. Nice. Awesome. So I'm going to get this nice and cold. Perfect. Oh, that's nice and cold. So I like to shake until until it gets kind of frosty on the outside. And you're gonna set up my glass for me. Oh man, I can smell this. It yeah, is just it smells super good. Really good. And you know, it's it's just perfect for summer. So I'm going to just strain this out. Oh, look at that nice like pale pink color. And then, Jeremy, I actually like to garnish with a pretty, pretty, pretty fanned out strawberry. So I'll take a whole strawberry, and also you can do these a little bit ahead of time. And I will just put like, I don't know, three or four slits, and then I'll kind of just separate them out so it's like just nice and pretty. Yeah. And I'll just throw that on the side of the glass right there. Looks good, tastes good. It looks good, tastes good. Okay, oh, wow. so that's what I like to do. What's one of your favorite summertime cocktails? So we talked about classic margaritas, but mm -hmm. and maybe incorporating a little bit of a twist and doing something a little different. A fruit that I really, really love is passion fruit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and people think about passion fruit as far as like this is like artificially or with candy and it's like really sweet. Fresh passion fruit is actually like pretty tart and like high in acid. Okay. So it like parties really well with other citrus fruits and like it's perfect in a margarita. It sounds like it also cuts really well with, you know, like ribs or brisket or Ooh, something yeah, at a barbecue. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what do you need? So I'm gonna start with of course Perfect. Your own silver. How much are you doing? We're gonna, do, we're gonna stick with the same same ratio, like a little more like one and a half. Perfect. And fresh passion fruit is a little bit hard to work with, but you can always find um, like passion fruit syrups at like specialty stores or grocery stores. Um, it's a really easy way to incorporate it in cocktails without having to like deal with the messiness of fresh passion fruit. Absolutely, okay. yeah. So we're gonna like make that uh, passion fruit flavor really, really come out. So we're gonna use one and a half ounces of this too. Oh, okay. And it sounds like a lot, but like I said, it's uh, passion fruit's more like tart and like citrus, so it's like gonna be it's gonna be okay. Perfect. So one and a half ounces of this passion fruit, mm -hmm. delicious. Oh, and I can tell that color is going to be really awesome. pretty too. Super, super pretty. Okay. All right. And another thing I'll really enjoy doing is like splitting the citrus. Okay. So we'll do three quarters of an ounce of lime, lime juice. juice. And then we'll split that also with three quarters of an ounce. Why do you do that with this? Um, so just to help with balance, you know, um, okay. people think about 
uh, lime juice is like sour. Both of them are sour or whatever, but sure. lemon incorporates a little bit of sweetness in the, um, in the cocktails as well. It's not like mm -hmm. a syrupy sweet, but it incorporates a little amount, amount of sweetness. It's just that balance, Absolutely. especially with that passion fruit. Okay. Balance is everything. And you know, if you're making fresh lemon juice, fresh lime juice at home, I think that about, you know, one lemon gets you about an ounce. About almost an ounce, yeah, yeah. yeah a good size lemon. Yeah. Perfect. Sure. So we have so our juices, we're gonna ice. A little bit of ice. All right, now let's see your shake. All right. Jeremy has a famous shake, so. Yeah. All right, we'll shake it up. A little shake. Oh, I love the way you shake. Oh, no, I do like the machine gun shake. You do. You just to get it really, really cold. Absolutely. You're really just wanting to get these cocktails nice and cold, but also get just a little bit of dilution in there. Oh, yeah. I can tell that's going to be delicious already. Super young. Okay. All right, we're going to ice the glass real quick. Man, I can just imagine having this, you know, on a really hot summer day, especially, we're in Texas, so it oh, gets yeah. really it's hot. So this is gonna there. just be perfect for us. Yeah, it's gonna help out a lot. Oh, and look at that beautiful color. Okay, now, if you're gonna make this for friends at home, how do you garnish it to make it really pretty? I really like keeping it simple and just doing like a lime and lemon. Okay, pretty, yeah, pretty nice and you use there. lime juice, lemon juice, it's good to incorporate the things in those Absolutely. cocktails into Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Okay, so you're just doing a little bit of, you know, like a, like a half ounce yeah. wheel. That's perfect. Nice little pretty wheels. Is that keeping it cute? And you know, if you're having a bunch of people over, this is something that you can do in advance also. Absolutely. absolutely. You can juice, you can, you know, juice all of your lemon and lime juice, but also cut all your garnishes ahead of time. And if you're really going to do it, you can also puree some strawberries mm -hmm. while you're at it so that you can make those quicker. All right. Oh man, that looks so wonderful. Super yummy. All right. Do you mind if I have some? All right, so we'll do this. So I'll try your strawberry Okay. And Sounds fresh. like a good deal. Right. So let us know your favorite summer destinations in the comments. And be sure to click below to discover more drink recipes like this. Cheers. Cheers.